full text articles online, try searching Google Scholar. Starting from the library website gives you access to the subscriptions UVic has purchased. Google Scholar crawls the entire web so it can find things outside of our catalog and our subscriptions. Google Scholar knows that academic papers have a title, author, abstract, and citations. However, just because a paper has all of those things doesn't make it academic. You should always read critically and do a quick background check on the author to make sure your sources are valid. Google Scholar looks for keywords in either the source title or everywhere else. Often, great sources won't have keywords right in the title. Since most new articles are released in digital format, Google Scholar has a very comprehensive search pool, but it still doesn't have everything. Although one article from a specific publication might be posted on the web, others might not be. You can create alerts through Google Scholar based on specific keywords or subject headings, so Google Scholar will notify you every time new articles are posted that meet your alert criteria. You can usually see what each article is cited, how many times an article has been cited elsewhere on the web, and related articles. Related articles are ones that cite the same sources as the article you've selected. Get this at UVic shows up because I went through the library website, so the web knows that I have access to UVic's paid subscriptions. The biggest difference between Google Scholar and library resources such as Summon is that with library resources you can be sure of the validity of the results. With Google Scholar, there might be more options, but you have to verify their authenticity yourself. For more help, watch our videos on using Wikipedia, making research come to you, or the quest for relevant sources. Good luck!